Hey there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the last day of Confessions of a Paper Addict's 20 Days of Cut Files. I am a day late in posting this, so my apologies for that. There will be a list of links down below of the other people who had videos out on the right day, so um, <laughs> if you want to go and check those out, you are more than welcome to. Um, I am starting with this cut file called Stargazer, and I'm using two different shades of silver to back it. And I'm using that My Mind's Eye paper from uh, the collection Yuletide, which is pretty old. But I really liked it because I like the dark red with the, that silver um, glitter on it. And I thought it went really well with the silver glitter or silver foil paper that I'm using here from Kaisercraft. So there are two different shades of silver in there and two different shades of gold. One's a little more yellow and one is a little bit more of like a, mm, a softer satin sateen color for the gold and then same with the silver one is a little bit more of a um, reflective silver and one is a little bit more of a satin finish and I used the more satin finish for the moon and the uh, more reflective ones for the stars and then I have two photos of what it looks like on Christmas Eve when everybody goes to bed um, and I am basically documenting the fact that uh, these Well, these photos were from, I want to say 2007 or 2008. I actually need to go back and check. But um, at that point in time in my life, I was usually the one to stuff all of the stockings. It was my mom and I, um, and she would be usually cleaning up stuff here and there, and I would be stuffing all of the stockings full of things for everyone to open the next day. Um, as my kids have gotten older and everything, they actually stuff for their spouses and uh, well, my daughter stuffs for her spouse and her son, and then my son, um, he stuffs his girlfriend's sock, and um, I don't have to stuff as many because, like my niece, she stuffs the ones for her family, and so I don't, I don't end up doing that. So, uh, but way back in the day, I used to stuff pretty much everybody's, my brother, his wife, his kids, um, and everything. So <laughs> I am documenting that and uh, this layout is super simple and that's why the video is very short today I just added the title "Twas the night before Christmas and I believe that is actually the um, prompt for today or for this the day that this was supposed to go live which was um yesterday the 19th <laughs> so um I'm just using some silver glittered thickers and I'm kind of moving them around playing with where I want them. I will add a little bit of adhesive to the back of each of them because these thickers do not stick very well. But um, I do kind of play with the placement of them and I had to move my photos further to the right to be able to get them to fit because the letters are a little bit wider than I had thought they were. But that's okay. It all works out and it looks good in the end. And like I said, I'm keeping this really simple. I'm going to pull out some stars out of this little purple box I have. It's just some leftover Christmas um, ephemera and knickknacks and doodads and all that kind of stuff. So I pull out four stars, which I know is an odd number of stars to pull out for a layout. It's not an odd number. Um, normally, I would do things in sets of three. But I have four stars and I want to use them all up. And with all of the other stars on this layout, I didn't think it really mattered because it's not like I have three embellishment areas. I'm just bringing those stars down into um, the photos and the title. So I think the four stars works well. And that is pretty much it for this layout. There is not a whole lot more. I'm just going to use my Arteza white uh, journaling pen. It's a 0.6, I believe. Yep, a 0 0.6 white Arteza gel pen. And I'm going to do my journaling and um, just talk about what I've already mentioned. And that's pretty much it for this layout. So I hope that you enjoyed this series. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this series. I am going to take a little bit of a break between now and Christmas. So there's not going to be much on my channel between now and um Christmas. I might have something next week after Christmas for you, but um, I am kind of just stepping away for a, a moment to enjoy my family and to kind of um, live life and take photos. So I have more to document. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.